Hi YouTube viewers, welcome back to my next video on VHDL. My name is Manohar. In this video, I am going to tell one query which was asked by Ankit Trivedi. So he has mailed me on February 4th. Today is February 27th. But due to the lack of time, I have not made his video. But I have gone through the paper. The paper was very nice. But one thing in this video, I will be not be telling everything. I will be not be telling about the coding, but I will be giving you a rough idea how this works because I have done yesterday. I thought to make the video yesterday only and I thought to present you, but due to uh, some problems, I have not made. So, right now it is right 6 36 am. So, I have got, got up early due to your project. So, anyhow, so my videos will be useful for the students who are doing their projects researchers and also as well as the people who are working in the organization newly they have joined but they don't know about vhdl so for them it is very useful for learning okay if you are new to my channel then please don't forget to subscribe my channel no money will be <laughs> taken for subscribing so if you subscribe to my channel don't forget to click on that bell button so it is very useful whenever i keep my new video you will be getting a notification no worries you will be not getting a too much notifications like other channels i will be not giving too many videos so it will be a very limited in in one month you can able to see that two to three videos i will be releasing so you will be getting a quite decent videos from me so no worries just subscribe my channel so let us start so I have seen the paper. So it is like floating point multiplier. He has given me Ankrit Trivedi. So he has given me a floating point multiplication. One thing to remember, see my dear friend, my dear subscriber. So first we have to know about what is floating point, right? So if you go and if you search for floating point, let me search for floating point for you. See floating point. Don't search about like this floating point. They have they have given in the paper. They have given very simple words. They have given. So, let me search for that see i am searching for because of you but i have already done to explain you so i am doing side exponent mantis of floating point right? you go go to this you can take anything any of one so first there will be a sign bit then there will be a exponent which is nothing but a decimal value and then there will be a mantis so i will be explaining you what is this sign base and mantis basically they have what they have done they have taken took the sign of two value two numbers they have taken a two numbers okay sign this is one of the floating point number and this is one of the floating point number where it is represented in binary format so you take the two sign bits do an xor operation means if it is zero and if it is one means one is the one represent a negative number and zero represent a positive number sign basically sign no? basically sign so it represent one represent a negative number and zero represent a positive number if you do an xor operation you will obviously will be getting one because minus and plus minus so xor operation he has done and kept in the the, the output of it okay. next they have taken an exponent and mantis okay this exponent is given to a full adder this exponent is given to a full adder and this mantis is given to an vedic multiple this two mantis is given to a basic multiplier then they have done normalization rounding off and given so forget about this thing i will be telling you easy method which i have done so let me open up this let me zoom it for you okay this is my handwritten and then i have scanned it and first of all to solve any problem do it by your hands okay the handmade is very important see what you can able to see that zero one zero one one zero in which these bits are my mantis no, no i'm sorry these bits are my exponent okay i have to only three bits exponent and remaining three bits i have to as a mantis you can able to see three bits exponent and three bits mantis you can able to take anything uh, so it is like six bits it, uh, it uh, all together it is like one three bits three six bits and you can keep one more extra bit that is your sign bit also that you can do an xor operation which as the paper has shown okay now what i am doing is see here I have taken the two numbers as 0 0.7, 2.75 and 2.75. I have multiplied those values using Calci. Uh, I need not to show to my subscribers but anyhow who are new to my channel just multiply them. So you will be getting no fake will be doing here. Okay, I will no programming 
no fake will be done okay. so 2.75 2.75 if you multiply these two numbers you will get 7.5625 right so now if you see after this point i think i have i have kept here point okay i have kept here point this is mantissa this is exponent and this is mantissa right you can able to see. this is exponent and this is a mantissa so right i have taken these two so after this gap they you will be writing right 1 by 2 1 by 4 1 by 8 1 by 16 this this thing will be going on see like this after this point okay we will be writing in that format okay just i have multiplied it all the values because normal multiplication if you take a normal multiplication every number will be multiplied irrespective of a point at how multiplication will be done will be multiplying these two values 5 uh, 5 5 5 7 5 2 again these two all the things multiply then we will count at 1 2 3 4 then we will be keeping after four digits will keeping a will be keeping a point same similar fashionly we will be doing when we are when we were small how we have multiplied now also we will be multiplying this in that same format okay just i have multiplied it or everything every number i have multiplied it and then you have to you have to remember that there will be point after how many after how many decimals you have implemented see 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 after 6 binary values i will be having my decimal see i have done see 1 2 3 4 5 6 after 6 decimal values i have kept a line because similarly in the in small when we are kid we, we were doing like that so i have also kept the line here then i have kept 1 by 2 1 by 4 1 by 8 and 1 by 16 you can able to see here so i have Here it is one and here it is one. I have added this two. I have taken LCM sixteen. I have added two. By see nine one nine by sixteen. I have got nine by sixteen is equals to how much? Okay, I have not done it. Ah, huh? okay. See no problem. Nine by sixteen is equal to five six two five. That is equals to five six two five. Means this whole value represents five six two five, right? And this represent seven. As you know, one 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 represents seven seven. 1.5625. Similar. What the thing we have done here? See, it is like two, and it is like one by two and one by four. If you add, it is like one by four. That is equal to zero point seven five seven. Two point seven five multiplied by two point seven five. We are getting a value of same. Same. Now the logic here is what you have to do. Keep one sign bit. Okay. Keep a sign bit. It becomes how many bits? Uh, multiplication. It becomes one, two, three, four, five, six, six bit multiplication. Okay. And one bit will be our sign bit. You do that XOR operation of that sign by keeping a separate by separate XOR and give these values as same as your Vedic multiplier. Give all this exponent and matrix the value. Give it to your Vedic multiplier, which I have already designed. Okay, which I have already designed in my previous videos. You can able to see that if you are designing 8 bit Vedic multiplier, na design keep 8 bit and 8 bit values. Exponent will be your keep some value for exponent. See here he has not mentioned. Okay, just he has made. Mention is a floating point multiplier. So how many bits for exponent? How many bits for mantissa? If he mention na, go through that. Go through this paper. If he mention, so then you use that many bits for your exponent and that many bits for your mantissa, and then you implement it. You will be getting sure, no doubt, you will be getting it. Okay, because I have took a random number and then I have done this in my book. Then I have got the perfect value. So no doubt you will be getting it. Okay, thank you for giving this paper for me. I worked out and I've told you for you. I hope this information will be good and quite enough for you for doing your project. If there are any doubts or if you are not able to do, then also then please comment on that on this video. Okay, on this video please comment me. Sure, I will be if there is time I will be doing in next month I will be doing the code and I will be presenting in my. video okay once again if you are new to my channel then subscribe my channel don't forget to subscribe that channel okay thank you for watching this video have a nice day